Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough on changing the oil on one of these four-cylinder flathead engines for a Willys MB or a Ford GPW. This is the oil filter canister area and I've got a new paper element for correct for this model. A um, couple of steps. This is very typical oil change. You start by uh, warming up the engine, get it nice and hot, and then in the under the oil pan on the left side, there's a there's a drain plug. That's a one and an eighth inch on mine. Should be the same. So I'll just finish removing this one. Have your oil pan ready because it's going to come out. Might get a little messy here, but that kind of goes with the territory. Starting to flow. There we go. All right, once that drains, I'll remove the oil filter and put a new element in. While the oil pan's draining, you can take off the oil filter lid. This is a seven eighths head. All right, you're gonna to wanna to have something to capture the uh, drops of oil as you pull this canister out. I'm not gonna to try to do it one handed, but it just slides on as you can see. I'll let that drip and I'll put it in a pan and then we'll put the new one in. All right, so old filters out, new filters going in. It slides on with a pretty tight seal over the, the uh, center post inside the canister housing. Once that's on, you can Replace the lid to the housing with a new gasket and be sure to use some of the oil and uh, wet the, pre the new gasket so that it gets some resilience and will seal better. Once you do that, you bolt the lid back on and then we can start filling with oil. All right, back under the Jeep, and it's pretty much stopped draining, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the fill plug back in. That way we can start putting new oil in. Tighten that up, and then we'll get out the 30 weight oil. Okay, the the uh, Willis MB 4 GPW engine has a five quart capacity for crankcase oil. Um, during a refill, it usually only takes about four quarts to refill it. You shouldn't put all four quarts in right away. You should put uh, most of it in, run it till the engine is, uh, is warm, and then Check the oil level with the dipstick and top it off until you reach the full. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a few of these quarts in. 
and finish up the job. So you can see, very, very easy, uh, easy to get to oil filter. You don't need an oil filter wrench. You don't have to crawl under the car to kind of find your way to an oil filter. It's right here on top, very accessible. <clears throat> Drain it, change the oil filter, put the plugs back in, get the filter element housing all tightened back up, add your oil, and you're, uh, you're done. Pretty easy. See you guys next time.